Welcome to this look at all the dining venues available on Virgin Voyages and Valiant Lady. We will start up on deck 15 with the galley. Unlike a traditional buffet, you choose your items from the menu and they bring the food to you rather than you serve yourself or they serve you. So, starting with Bento Baby, these are Bento boxes featuring sushi and the like. There is a popsicle stand, if you fancy one of those. Moving on then we have hot off the press. This is paninis, toasted sandwiches and the like. Noodle around, serving ramen, etc. This is one of the dining areas that is only open for breakfast and lunch at the time of filming. So do check the schedule. Moving on then, let's talk about it. As it says on the tin, this serves tacos. Diner and Dash, this is open 24 seven and you can grab your all day breakfast items and omelets here. On to the burger bar. I don't think this needs any further explanation. And then well bred, baked, savoury and sweet items. And then if you fancy a naughty treat, this is the sweet side. Lots and lots of naughty treats. It does also feature fresh fruit if you want to be good. And the daily mix, lots of salad items and fixings here. On the aft of deck five, we have Razzle Dazzle, heavily vegetarian influenced. You will find some meat items on the menu and there is also a secret meat menu. So if that is your thing and you're not feeling overly adventurous, then speak to your server and they will provide you with that secret menu. Quite loud decor as you can see if you're looking for your rainbow sprinkles fairy toast this is where you want to be open for both brunch and dinner here's your legendary fairy toast and the evening menu. Just look at that cauliflower dish, delicious. And the signature razzle cake, and the healthy option. On the opposite side of the aft of deck five, you have Pink Agave, probably the most dramatic of entrances to any of the restaurants on board. This is the upscale signature Mexican restaurant. Virgin Voyages pride themselves on the fact that it's not an Americanized version, it is traditional Mexican fare. I will let you decide whether it is, if you decide to dine here. Menus divided up into small plates and large plates. I highly enjoyed it. On to Gombe then, probably one of the most fun restaurants on deck 15 aft. This is just on from the galley. Lots of drinking games, very, very noisy restaurant. If you're looking for a quiet venue, this perhaps isn't the one for you. But if you're looking to have fun and let your hair down, really great experience where they cook your dinner at your table. And it's a really great venue to meet friends.
Moving on then to deck six, and this is on the mid, almost aft, and this is test kitchen. Experimental lab style dishes. You are just given the main ingredient, which you choose on either a meat or a vegetarian menu, and they will bring you a dish based around that main ingredient. No other description, very experimental, and very Instagrammable food. Just a word of warning, there is quite a lot of flicker in here which can affect photos or video. This is the most confusing dish they have. Is it a dessert or is it savoury? Try it and let me know. Moving on then, the opposite side of deck six on the mid slash aft. This is the Italian style restaurant. Again, upscale version of Italian. Bright and airy when I was filming in here. But at night time, the lights are turned right down low, so it is extremely subtle lighting. Another restaurant I enjoyed. Lots of items, really tasty food, well presented. And plenty of choice as well. On the aft of deck six then, an entry from the aft of deck seven. This is The Wake, an upscale steakhouse. Lavish lighting as you enter via the stairway. Interesting scening with lots of gold balls. Sublime aft view, so if you're dining during sail away, you're in for a treat. And again, top notch food quality in this restaurant. Like all restaurants, there are upscale items. I didn't feel the need to do that in any of the restaurants. The food was high quality enough without me needing to do that. So another treat. Very nice and quiet in here as well. And I really like the feel. A word of warning as well, the portions are huge. Jumping up to the forward of deck 16 then, this is Sun Club Cafe. Relaxed lunchtime bites, poke bowls available just forward of the outdoor DJ station if you want to grab a quick bite to eat. Down on deck seven, the pizza place. High quality pizza to eat in or take away and you can also have it delivered anywhere around the ship. On then to the ship show, held in the Manor nightclub on deck six mid, just off of the casino. I dined in here, but it was too dark to get any video. So this is just a look around of the venue, and you've had a look at the menu. If you're into cabaret style shows and dinner, this is the place for you. On deck seven mid, this is the social club. So there are board games, food, a bar area, and this is the menu for that venue. I didn't dine here, but I just want you to have a quick look around and also a look at the menu, should this be something that interests you. And the last of the venues then, on the aft of deck seven, this is the dock house. You can eat indoors or outdoors, 
and here is the menu available. Again, I didn't dine here, but I want to give you an idea of what's available and a quick look around. If you have any questions or comments, then drop them below. If you've enjoyed, then please do give me a thumbs up and please do consider subscribing to the channel to help me grow and bring you new content. And until the next upload, thank you so much for watching guys. Take care.